Hi everybody. Uh, welcome to a quick edition of Cabin Crafts. Um, a few of you out there have wanted to know how to make the little pins that Justine uh, was wearing in her hat, like this one. This is a little sunflower. You can see it's got little black beads on the inside and it's just a pin. This is a very, very simple craft. Uh, one that I think you'll really enjoy. How come every time I do a video, the train comes through town? I don't know anyway. Um, so what you're going to need is a 12 inch by two inch strip of wool felt. This is called mustard seed color on my uh, website. This is 12 by two. And then you're going to need a one and a half inch by seven inch piece of the chocolate brown. Now I'm going to show you a a simpler center than the beads. Um, this will make a really cute sunflower. It'll give it that knobbly, uh, seedy look in the middle. And you're going to need a hot glue gun. I've cut a couple of felt circles to go on the back. And in my pocket, what's in my pocket? There's the template for my little wool felt circles. And they're an inch and a half circle. And then I've just got these two pin backs. And of course you'll need scissors. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this piece in half and hot glue it down. Just hot glue a seam right along the edge and glue it down long ways. And then you're going to take your scissors and of course you're going to snip after this is glued shut. You're going to snip all the way down the edges. And then for the seeds, this is a seven inch long by inch and a half piece of chocolate felt that I folded in half and glued down the side. And then I've already snipped it with scissors. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hot glue this and roll it up. And so I'm gonna put hot glue on this and roll it up for you all. And this doesn't take long at all. I'm gonna get it started and then I'll try to do it in front of the camera so that you can see um, see me roll it up and it really makes a cute center of course I've got hot glue all over my fingers now but I'm gonna do this section and do it in front of the camera so you can see see me I'm just rolling that up one of these days I'm gonna get one of those nifty things that hovers over your hands while you craft. I've been seeing that a lot on on uh, YouTube and I need one of those and I'm just going to glue this shut. So you're just rolling your rolling your little felt circle up and then you're left with with this. You've got this is going to be the center. And you can do this with lots of flowers, um, all different colors of flowers. Let me, let me glue that down just a little bit better. I did it on camera and then I didn't see where I wound up. There. So there's our center. Okay. And now we're going to take this gold. I thought this would be a cute flower to do for fall. And we're going to glue this wrap roll this around the center so I'm going to start with a section here and get it started and like I said one of these days I'm going to get that really cool uh, thing that hovers over the center of your project so the center of this flower is just a little bit I got glue on the outside. That's not pretty. Should have worn my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. But you're just going to roll this all the way around. The outside of your center. And what, anyway, what I started to say was um, the center is just a little shorter loops then and we're just going to keep rolling until we get all the way around this goes really super fast so 
So the loops in the center are just a little bit shorter than the inside or the outside so that it looks like a real flower. And now we're going to finish rolling that up along the outside. So there it is. And then we're going to fluff it out, make it look nice and pretty. There we go. And now all you do, and so this is our back before we put our, our little cute green circle on. And I'm just going to put some glue all around the edge of my green circle. And a little bit in the middle. And just glue that across the back. Okay. I really messed up one of those loops, but oh well. So there's the front, there's the back, and now all we gotta do is take our little pin back, put a little glue on there, and there's your pin. So wouldn't this be cute on a, you know, like a little wool sock hat or Justine wears little straw hats um, and you could put it on that or on your uh, wool coat lapel this winter. Um, and I brought, so this one has a beaded center. So in order to make this one, I have a piece of black felt and this is, let me measure this for you all. This is 12 inches long and a half an inch. This is 12 inches long and a half an inch wide. And all you do is, I'm just going to start it, one end, and you just make a coil. And you just coil this up. You don't even have to keep gluing along. Just coil it all up. And then when you get to the end, we're at the end, just glue the end and you have a coil. You have a little black wool felt coil and then you would take your piece and fold it in half and snip and then roll that all around this edge. And when you get it all done, you would fill in the hole with just some tacky glue and then I've got some black beads that I got at the craft store and I just glued a bunch of beads on top of that black coil so if you want the brown center like that looks like seeds that's this is all felt then you can uh, do the little snip method like I did for that or if you want the one that has like the, the seeds in it, the black seeds, which is really pretty, then you would use the coil method and then just roll your yellow all around it, put a circle on the back, put a pin on the back, and then when you get it all, all wound together, then you put the glue in the middle and the beads. Do this last. I mean, do the beads last. So that way, when you go to pour the beads in, the the petals kind of hold it all in place and then I found these these vintage seed labels and I just punched a couple of holes and that's and that's how I package them and sell them in the store so I have a whole tree full of these here that I've made in all different colors and there's some pink pink and black like a dusty rose and black up here is deep burgundy and then there's even some orange beads and some so these are the fall colored ones and then these are really pretty i'll have to get this down because it's higher than the thing but these are the purples and the purples let me just pull one off for you 
The purples, I used the coil method. I took a piece of yellow coil and glued yellow glass beads in there. So there's glass beads in these. So again, you can see what I always say, the possibilities are endless. Look at all the different colors. There's a turquoise one. Come back here. Where'd you go? Look at the turquoise. I love turquoise. It's one of my favorite colors. Of course, red is my very favorite color. But let me fluff this out and then you can see. Isn't that pretty? So that's the turquoise color. And I took these, I took these to the Jure de Fete. And I thought I would sell out. And I didn't. But anyway, they're for sale in the store here. So Hopefully you will make these because some people wanted to uh, make the ones like Justine had on her little straw hat. So she wears them on her hat. You could wear, you know, a cluster of uh, three different colors on something. So here's a, a burgundy, a copper, and a yellow all together. Get them all fluffed out. Isn't that beautiful? Here, let me put the, let me put the, all the beaded ones up there. Isn't that pretty? That would be so pretty on a coat this winter. So that is how you make the little felt flower pens. And um, if you all want, I can put some craft kits together. Now the craft kits, I don't think I will do um, beads in the craft kits because that's going to go all over the place. But I actually got these at, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Um, a whole package is just a couple of dollars. And, um, and then you get your tacky glue. This is just, it's called Fast Grab. It's Aileen's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. And I can put some kits together that where you will make it with the, um, with the brown seedy centers. So, um, or it'll have, you know, if it's some of the prettier colors, it'll have the gold seedy center. So, uh, anyway, that is, that is it. That's all you need to do to make a felt flower pen. So, I hope you all make some and uh, enjoy. Thanks. Bye-bye.